Mm -hmm, it's buggy season. <laughs> <laughs> it literally is though like allergy season is striking kentucky and it fucking sucks i wake up with a headache i have like five million boogers in my nose it's awful boogie's gonna come Lord, back if, yeah if it was boogie season that would be like my nightmare i'm not gonna lie <laughs> boogie 298 season there you have to go hunting for them to bring down the population of them but <laughs> it's like deer hunting season and when deer hunting season happens you're supposed to there's like a certain amount of deer you're supposed to kill to bring down the population again well, yeah <laughs> So with Boogie 2988 hunting season, you know, it's, you got to do what yep. you got to do. Boogie seasons means more butter trees out. So. Oh my yeah. God, the butter trees. <laughs> oh my God, the butter trees. Dude. What's a butter tree? Dude, let me just I don't know how to explain this lore. <laughs> I don't even know like what it's about either. Cause I'm not even like a big Boogie fan. I watched like maybe Francis like jumps in the pool, but like that was about it. when it came I, I, I was a Boogie fan and I don't know this lore i just i think there was like one random video where he said butter tree and uh and for whatever reason like i i drew a butter tree for him back in like 2010 like a tree made of butter and i added it to him and then we saw it like last year or something like we found it mm -hmm. in a call and then he um i don't know like I, like hoover was like what the hell is this man to like my old post <laughs> yeah there it is I, I sent it in the discord and then That's boogie Tree. boogie retweets it yeah oh. he retweeted my, it like this year or last year yeah like like it was a new tweet oh yeah well i'm happy for you thank you congrats i got the is that such a cute little picture it is oh. i really Excuse like it I'm trying to okay there we are Sorry, I was setting up my thing. Welcome back to Cool Dog. Today is one of our favorite occasions, as it always is. We have Prezzo back on the podcast. Yeah, you Prezzo guys are really. The, you guys are banking on me. Uh, you guys are are banking on me, like getting famous, like really famous or something. So you keep getting me on to. Yeah, to, I you mean, are. <laughs> you have like a year. You have like a year to really make something yeah. of your life. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. the episodes are getting deleted. <laughs> And we're just going to, I'm going to even change the episode numbers to, so that it, it's like, it never even happened. You know what I mean? <laughs> you've got, we, you've got of, we get rid of episode 51 and then we'll turn 52 into 51. Yeah. Never yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've got a whole team for that, but no team for we editing. Do. You do that yourself. The team. Yeah. I do do that myself. <laughs> I do. Yeah, which is why recently there's been a lot of bits from the guests where they're i'm gonna say something you should blur this out and i'm like you have way too much trust in me remembering this when i decide to edit this a week later because matt watson did it with the crater clash date um and then average harry in an episode that i don't think is released yet said his address and then he said but you can blur that out right and i'm like i don't i know i'm gonna be honest i don't remember when he said it so now i'm gonna have to listen to the whole thing and find out where he said his address should or maybe i'll just leave it in should i say it again since i have it no, do not say it again. <laughs> I don't want to edit. <laughs> you should just send I mean, in the uh, footage like fuck you, find where you said the address, you piece of shit, or I'm not I'm not, not uploading doing it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually a fun game. It's like a scavenger <laughs> hunt. Yeah. I I kind of live my life with the motto of I want to do as little work as possible ever. Mm, so real. When someone makes me do even a little bit of work, I get irrationally angry and i lose my temper <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good way to handle it you know if you ever just get asked to do anything you should just like throw hands with people yeah, yeah. did you guys do chores growing up mommy got you doing chores oh dude yes I was like, no no <laughs> <laughs> damn we got a bad no kid in the chores. group we got a bad kid in the call i'm not doing my it. mom was like you're my first good child i don't want to make you do anything that's going to make you angry at me because <laughs> like my siblings were like just throwing shit all the time and hated my mom that seems like <laughs> a like a like a different way to fuck you up like i'm not gonna lie i had to do some chores but i didn't have to do enough and it definitely had a negative impact on me oh, when yeah. i became an adult because same you know, when you got when you got mommy sweeping the floors and shit, you move out. You realize, wait a minute, the floors—they're not sweeping themselves. Yeah, anymore. no, mm -hmm. like I am in I am in filth right now. Like this, like this should or, uh, this should be in my closet, but it's just behind me on a random chest. You know, like mm. that jacket. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just putting shit anywhere because I don't give a fuck. 
you know? I There's think no it's order. called chaotic organization. You know what I mean? You leave exactly. your laundry on the bedroom floor. I mean, I, right. I, I like having it in piles because I'm like, okay, here's my clean pile. Here's my, here's my dirty pile. Right. Um, I, and then, you know, it, it works for me. Who else well, is to cast judgment upon me? I did, um, like I put shit in the dryer and, and it, it's done drying. That dryer now is just my closet, mm. you know, until my mm. roommate, smart, like, though. until my roommate asked about it. I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's, <laughs> 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 I forgot about it. No, that's my closet. So I hang dry. I hang dry my shit. Oh yeah. I mean, that's a good idea. I just don't really have much place. To I be. would prefer a dryer to be honest with you, except for, well, I, you know, in my, in my couple years of being by myself, I figured out the tips and tricks on how do you preserve your clothing when you wash yeah, it? That's, yeah. yeah. I put it on print, cold. The print shirts, cold. you should not put them in the dryer. You got to do them cold. You got to flip them so that the print isn't scratching against the fucking mm -hmm. barrel. Um, Barrel. which is also a tip that I give to everybody that buys Yolkang merch. Sometimes people put it in the fucking washing machine at like 200 degrees water and they boil <laughs> it and then they like, they like set fire to it. And then they send me a DMs like, Oh, this is the fucking shittiest quality shirt I've ever got in my life. Look what happened to it. And then I ask, did you put it in the dryer? And they're like, yes, I did put it in the dryer. And then at that point I'm like, well, maybe you shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. I put everything in the dryer because I just have too much clothing, you know? So, mm. so I need to get yeah. rid of some of it after a while. Dude, I, I threw mean, out so much of it when I was moving from Austin. Like, I yeah. had such, like, a, a, a ton of clothes I just wasn't wearing. And I had so much fun just, like, fucking tossing them in a bag and be like, okay, I'm just going to give these away. Yeah, I'm a yeah. hoarder. I, I, I used to give my clothes away, and now... I kept giving away clothes where in the moment I thought, I'm never going to wear this again. And then two weeks later, I'd be like, fuck, this could be perfect right now in this outfit. And I and gave like, it away. You're like these people in need probably are not enjoying it as much as I They're would. They're probably right now. not fucking wearing it as good as I would, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. With you. yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to style it properly. They, you know, like I'm just saying, it would have been better in my hands. I need to locate them and ask for it back. Yeah. I deserve this. Call me Carson merch right now. <laughs> Whoa! I, what? Hey, just so you know, in for, I was supposed. He did send me the merchandise, but it never arrived. It got lost in post. Yeah, me too. The fuck? So, mm. but I didn't pay for it. So it doesn't, you know. Yeah, Hoover I didn't pay still for it wears his though. No, okay. Listen, I this is actually a crazy thing because I remember very distinctly in 2020 when that motherfucker was off the internet, like gone. My mom was like cleaning out my fucking wardrobe so before I went to Austin. And she was like, like, do you need some of this stuff? And then she like hold, held up like pool hall shit. And I'm like, hell no, like get rid of that. Like I don't fucking want to see that shit ever again. But then I <laughs> moved back here. I moved into our new house. And you were like, I'm in the basement. And I find a fucking pool hall hoodie. I was <laughs> like, what the fuck is this doing down here? Like, why is it still here? I thought you got rid of it. And I was like, Dude. my mom's a hoarder. I had to try to think of what the name was, and I was like, "Is it Riverside?" I don't know how Riverside came into my my head. <laughs> Riverside isn't like Carson merch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, uh, dude! The Riverside merch did feel like really comfortable though. Like you can't lie. No, like, like it was the high Riverside quality. drop was legendary. Say what you want about the guy, the Riverside drop went crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did. It did. Am I going insane? Like, what, what did I think of? <laughs> I I don't know. That's I, think, a, I, think, that's a, I think that's a Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door chapter. That came into my, in my head. Yeah. The Riverside is the website we're using right now. Yeah. <laughs> we are on Riverside. <laughs> we are on Riverside. Oh to the God. audience members listening, Riverside is the website that we use to record our podcasts. And and that's that's <laughs> there's oh. a huge, well, I wouldn't call it a huge, there's a, there's a small logo right at the top that says Riverside. And he was probably looking at it subconsciously thinking, what a beautiful word. I thought you were well, going to say that there's a, a huge logo of the fucking Forever Alone guy that's just been up there for like <laughs> the past couple months. I did months. do that before you were here. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the audience can't see that. that. So let's not let, let's not talk about that. Okay, fine. I won't bring it up ever again. <laughs> it's never even here. But, uh, it's just crazy to me that sometimes you get comments on this and they're like, I was walking in the park listening to this and I had a great time. Like, it's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? People unsuspectingly walked past you not realizing what kind of filth you're listening to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of filth yeah. was going into your ears? And Two you have no idea that I'm wearing podcast. I'm wearing a headband right now. Prezo is wearing a headband. How come you're wearing one right now? Let's mm. talk about that. Um because I work out. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> what the um, fuck? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a personal trainer. So now this is my personality. Like I, Ooh, like I have, you to, have a like, personal trainer. <laughs> yeah. I got one right. Like uh, a week before my LA trip. So I could look buff during LA. Damn. He must have you going rigorous. If that's <laughs> yeah. how fast Are you doing like CrossFit where you're like fucking flipping over like huge tires and shit? Yeah, he's right off doing? frame, like just waiting for me to get off so that we can go back to training again. But oh, yeah. I just need yeah. one of those like yoga mom personal trainers that I have sexual tension with, but never actually turns into anything. <laughs> right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one of those like really fit like thirty year old dudes named like fucking Julio or something. You know what I mean? Oh like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that, like uh, you, you you call Julia because you want to pretend uh, he's a woman. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, he, caught, not, he caught on real quick. He caught it's on not real gay quick. if I close my eyes and say Julia, Julia, <laughs> exactly. Julia. He wouldn't say Julio, but he just said Julia. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, so all my friends that have gotten personal trainers, all of my rich friends, okay, because the common folk, the, the personal trainer is your mind. All right, you can't afford a personal trainer. Personal trainer is YouTube. Yeah, personal, personal trainer is Wii Sports. I'll be honest, like my personal trainer is like uh is like a couple meals uh, uber eats worth of money every month you know so it's like not bad oh but i'd rather have the uber eats is that just me like <laughs> no wait you're on to something mm -hmm. because i get like big orders of sushi <laughs> like i get like 60 dollar mm. uber like what's your what's your sushi order what's what are you getting oh um i get uh i get a lot of sh anything with shrimp um i get like mm. these dragon rolls but dragon rolls mean fucking anything like from restaurant to restaurant really but yeah. as long as there's shrimp like tempura shrimp oh i fucking eat that bitch up some salmon some play. spicy salmon oh Ooh. oh that's legit and i get I like, a lot of uh, hand rolls mm, i like mm. philly rolls you ever had a philly roll no it does that have like the 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 cream yeah the cream yeah the cream yeah i the i cream. love those i'm i'm huge on those and i mean that's the thing is i don't know it, like, you know what I mean? Because I'm I'm Estonian, so one roll here could mean a whole other roll over there in Canada. Right. So yeah, exactly. I feel like it's kind of hard to have this conversation and feel confident that we're completely on the same page. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. but also that's that's just like from restaurant to restaurant. Like, if you go to like some guy named Jim's sushi restaurant, it, like mm -hmm. everything's gonna taste. Like ru like rubber a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of sushi places here, and most of them are a hundred percent identical. They copy each other, like menus, oh, yeah. ingredients. Everything is the, exactly the same. There's not a lot, of, but then the ones that are doing their own thing a little bit, those are the ones that you really want to go to. Those are the ones that are having a little bit of fun with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, People will will get inspiration from a restaurant and then just like build one right next to it. And just be mm -hmm. the exact same thing, you know. I've actually thought about doing that. Yeah, like, like in the, the Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. Too. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Um, yeah, just trying to you know diversify my portfolio and whatnot. Oh, mm. how have you been doing that recently? How have you been diversifying? A lot of just property <laughs> investments. Um, mm. I've been buying up like houses and kind of like shitty suburbs and renovating them and then you know flipping them and stuff and i'm actually me and That's my wife smart. we have a we have a family vlog about it um because what we're really trying to do is we're trying to raise awareness that flipping houses is not easy and yeah, it's like not, being a landlord yeah. is not easy there's a reason why everyone's not a landlord mm -hmm. it's it's uh i you know I'll, on the channel I, I always like to say that a landlord is, is is like a family member to you. You know, a landlord is one of the most important people in your life, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying Amen. to give you housing, and you know, every now and then maybe I'll fix like a leak in your house. Yeah, yeah, and also like they they don't really know what kind of tenants they're gonna get until they're really in it. Some of them could be gay, exactly. and then you kick them out, and then you're like, uh, "We'll get new people in here." Your tenants yeah. could be having gay sex in your bedroom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> like that's a real and, and you know we're trying to figure out how to kind of get a better understanding of who we're renting to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. I just like hike up that rent price like through the roof. Usually, I usually like I lure them in by giving them like a low rent price for my townhouses, and then after a month, I'm like, uh oh, like like COVID. You know, there's COVID going on, even though like COVID's already fucking basically done for. Like mm-hmm. I go, oh COVID, and then I like mark it up like double the price, and then that's how I make my money. Yeah, that's clever, man. Mm-hmm. That's very clever. Do you guys ever wonder how the internet is a funny place in the sense of here we are, an Estonian man, a Canadian man, and a man from Kentucky sitting all in one call conversing about life, dude. About every time you say neighborhoods. Po- Every time you say the word Kentucky, I don't know. I, I've realized this just now. The mm-hmm. the the state shape shows up like in my vision. It just like Kentucky, 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 Kentucky. because it's Kentucky. just such a such a re- like it just makes sense. Mm. It's just like that's what I know it for. Really, the shape, nothing else, just the shape of the the state. What do you think my, about the and shape? Hoover? I mean, doesn't it look like? <clears throat> excuse. <laughs> it looks like a piece of fried chicken. A piece kinda. of fried chicken. Kinda My geography does, teacher like, used to always say that. She used to say, "If like I think it was the surrounding states as well. It looks like a man frying pan, like chicken on yeah. a pan." Yeah. You know what's crazy is I'm I'm not even joking. I have lived in Kentucky my entire life. I don't think I've ever heard anyone in Kentucky really? actually say it looks like a piece of chicken. I'm not joking. I like dead ass have never heard anybody. But now that you're saying that, it's like I can kind of see it. Yeah, and like that's that's the easiest way for me to remember which one is Kentucky because it's like Kentucky's fried chicken. And then yeah. Idaho's the one that looks like a big pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like the poop emoji kind of. Colorado's the easiest because it's, it's literally just a square. It is mm. kind of crazy. Like, Idaho is right. like six millimeters, I think, of land at the top, you know? Yeah, it's mm-hmm. literally like you can step over it. Yeah, you can you can completely avoid Idaho just if you if you got a long step on you. <laughs> yeah, you can go from Montana to Washington with no worry at just all. One leap. I you know if we're on the topic of states, I gotta Talk say, uh, <laughs> I was looking at Texas the other day and I was like, you know what, I gotta end some. It's a pretty cool like cool shape. It's a it's a little bit. It unique. is. Yeah, and they have that shit on like every sign too. Mm-hmm. Like for whatever they, they know they're flaunting it. They're like, you know, look at us. Like some of you all, yeah. are, you don't have anything. Imagine like Colorado putting that shit in their signs. It's like oh, oh yeah, look true. At this square with like a divot, I think, or is it just a square? I forget. It's just a square. A divot one is like New Mexico or I yeah, don't know what yeah, the yeah. Left of it is. I, I mean, the Dakotas are also almost squares, but on the on the right side, they got a little like someone chewed on it a little bit. Took a yeah, they got some nibbles. That, that they was got me, some nibble actually. Marks. I nibbled on it a little bit. I'll be Bro, honest. come oh. on, man. I know Are when I was serious? in whatever the fuck state is next to it. I forget. Wisconsin? Minis- uh, Wisconsin is... Minnesota Wisconsin is like uh, on the other side Minnesota? of the river. Yeah, Minnesota is right next to it. Yeah, Wisconsin is... I- Iowa? I've been to Minnesota, actually. That, yeah, that was actually me nibbling the fuck Wait, out of North what? Dakota. <laughs> yeah. What? That was you? Uh, yeah, dude. Why'd you go to Minnesota? Uh, for SGDQ, um, oh. which uh, I got this beer for from. Oh, oh. yeah, oh, you saved so that awesome. all this time. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and I—I'll be honest. When I was there, sometimes I go to. Well, I, actually, back then, I went to states or I went to you know, like I went to Cuba one time. But I didn't know anything about maps because I'm North American and mm-hmm. I didn't give a fuck, you know? Exactly. So I had no idea where I was. I went to Cuba, no clue. I couldn't tell you like what part of Cuba I was in. I didn't look at a map. I didn't look at like Google Maps to see where I was compared to anything else. I was just in Cuba next to water. Um, yeah, I just that's kind of map. That's kind of insane. I like- know. I know. Today, I'm like, I'm so angry at myself because now I like have fun, like just looking at Google Maps and looking at Google Street View and shit like that. But I don't know why back then I just didn't like it. It's so crazy because it was the first time out of my country. Like you would yeah, think, you, like, you just were not even curious at all as to where you were going. No, <laughs> like exactly. I'm in Cuba somewhere. The, like, the I'm, amount like, of trust. for me, man. I just you know I don't even like tanning. Okay, I just want the I just want the you know the free 
fettuccine alfredo but i then you realize oh these are like you know this is like like there's so there's so much more to like what i'm seeing because i was paid for like this like I, like a like a resort so i didn't really get to see much of cuba at all i i maybe oh. for like an afternoon or whatever where we went to like a like where, where i don't know i kind of forget but we did see a lot of nice waters that's oh, see, nice. that's good. Some blue ass water, as <laughs> yeah. they used to say on "That's cringe" or whatever. Yo, <laughs> throwback Thursday, dude! Hey. Oh my god, throwback Friday. Yeah, I mean, I I've always been obsessed with maps. I think it's because Estonia is so small that it's like, what well, the weirdest thing is, right? I grew up thinking that Estonia was the center of the universe. Like Estonia right. was. I remember being like five years old, thinking. Estonian is such an amazing language because it is like the language. <laughs> it's, it's like the language. It's like everyone's it, speaking it. Everyone's speaking it. Exactly. And I was thinking like, because that was when I was becoming more and more aware of like English existing in Russian. And I, I just remember thinking, but Estonian, like it makes sense. Like everything. I, keep in mind at the time, I couldn't speak any other language. So it, it makes sense that no, the other languages were not making a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of sense to me. And here I am, like, I've learned about the Estonian language, like, maybe six months ago, you know? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It's literally, like, a million people speak it, which, in the grand scheme of the universe, is fucking absolutely nobody. Uh, Mm. Yeah, I was always always very obsessed with maps, and I I always... And that was actually the kind of craziest thing for me. Like, for example, the first time I went to America... I remember I immediately pulled up Google Maps and I was like, this is weird. Like, I've always looked at this on a map, but now I'm here. And like, right. when I open Google Maps, the little blue circle is right here. Yeah. And I'm so far away from my mommy. <laughs> yeah. So. For me, uh, landing in Australia, I was like, mm. I've the only place that I've been so far is like a little bit in the US and Cuba. But again, when I was in Cuba, I didn't even like, th- I was like, oh, I'm just in like, uh, I don't know, like the um, east side of Quebec. Like that, that's just mm. like what I'm thinking right now. I'm like in Prince Edward, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm in Prince Edward Island. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, uh, so, so when I was in Australia, that's when I like, you know, started uh, forming a brain or something when I was like 22 years old. Yeah, that's about the like, time. shit, mm-hmm. yeah. You really... So, you got you grew a brain just in time. Got a yeah. little played it a little bit close there, but you got you got you got it in on time. So that, I mean that's why now I want to be in Europe because I I realize now my brain is like I've never been to this whole part of the globe. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. I've been like kind of close to South America, so I, you know, but I've never been in South America, so I'd like to go at some point. But Europe and like Asia, like this is a whole like I want to I want to I want to do a little something over there. Not your ass doing African erasure right now. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, Africa. what the hell, dude? You don't want to go to Cape Town or anything like that? Well, like, because I've I've thought of like Japan a lot, and I've thought no, of uh, I've thought of man. France, and I've thought of of the UK a lot. But, well, Japan especially because uh, it was so close to Australia, and I was like, I mean, I'm like so close to Asia. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, the I mean that's I I think about that in the context of I have been on the African continent because I went to Morocco. Oh. And it's it's North Africa, which is it's it's kind of crazy to think about. And the entire time I was there, I was like, "Wow, I'm like in Africa right now," which is kind of crazy. Um, is Qatar was, was, in Asia? Qatar is in the Middle East. I which touched is, down there for like a second, so I mean, they've got my scent there. They've got my, you know, your, your feet have been walking there. Yeah, years after the fact. Wait, this is kind of crazy that you flew to Qatar. Mm-hmm. But the, they like, have like a huge, like a really huge airline. And they like, during the pandemic, it's like people went to Qatar because it was like the, the only place that like went super international. So Australia mm-hmm. to Canada, you, you had to use Qatar or Qantas. But I think that was like, I don't know, it was like once every like week. Mm-hmm. But like Qatar was like every day, you know, Australia to Canada, you could do that any day you want. So I was like, all right, sweet. Yeah, I think I'll probably do one of those layovers when I when I go to Australia. Because I think when Emily Jane came to see me in the UK, she had a layover like that where it was somewhere I don't somewhere in the Middle East. I think I don't remember where, but mm. that is usually. I, in fact, I remember 
when I met your boss, Chad, in 2019, yeah. like f- five minutes into meeting him, he was already inviting me to Australia and he was saying, yeah, you should, you should get a layover from like here and there. And if you, if you plan the layovers really nice, you can make it a really nice experience because the airports are really good. Oh yeah. And never, and never since then I've been kind of thinking about it. Cause there's, um, excuse, I forgot which, is it the fucking Singapore airport? Oh, dude, One I was of the airports. Mm-hmm. Singapore, yeah, the airport, Singapore is. airport is is like, from what I've seen, insane. Yeah, it's got that like famous picture of like the water that comes from the ceiling and mm-hmm. yeah, it's sick. Yeah, it's so. I mean, if God lets me, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd like to we'll you know, Singapore trip. I want like a I want like a twenty hour Singapore layover so I could just go outside and play GeoGuessr in my mind. <laughs> it's like where am i where am i i'm at the airport oh i got it maybe someday i'll go to turkey for a hair transplant that would also be fun oh dude we need to do that <laughs> yeah that, would, that i mean they, they literally offer packages from all over the world they'll fly you in from anywhere so yeah and i mean yeah. seems like they do a pretty good job i've seen some before and after pictures thinking oh pretty neat we have to do it in time i think if you ball too much they can't save you Turkey really? would be fun. I thought they could always just save you. Dude, we're like, oh, you're, you're good now. Crazy example, but I remember Slicker, if anybody remembers him. I remember he almost got sponsored by a hair transplant clinic in Turkey, but they said, you're too bald. Like, because oh the way God. it works is they take hair follicles from the back of your head. And if the oh, entire yeah. top of your head is bald, they just can't take enough hair follicles. I've got a bunch of those. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You do. I can see them. <laughs> you can see. You got that headband. You, you're showing I got it off. like I got like sixty hair follicles still on me. I think we're good. That's I think good. We're good. I think I'm yeah. good too. Still, but you know, who knows? In like four years. Yeah, yeah, but like, as long as as long as I know I'm good for now, I can stay happy. Mm-hmm. You know? No, I feel that. Wait, can yeah. you donate hair follicles to other people? Like, could I, could I instance right now, like, one of you all goes too bald and, like, I can get a hair transplant. Could I just go, guys, I got you. And I just, like, that take a part of like my back of my head. fucked up haircut ever because it would, it would be your hair. <laughs> I know. I wouldn't have anything in the back. I would just be like, here you go, take this, take this. And then I'll just fucking give it to you. And I just wouldn't have anything back there. The back leave, like, they actually don't take that much from the back because... I remember, like, for example, Machine Gun Kelly got one, and he has, sometimes you can see at, like, award yeah, shows when he line. turns back, there's, like, a line that they took from. But I, I do wonder if that would work, because the 40 IQ scientist in my head is saying, well, maybe the body would reject the hair follicles because yeah, they're not that's, yours. that's what I'm thinking, too. But it's like, uh, I don't fucking know. No, I mean, the, the 20 IQ sci- scientist in my head was like, I mean, nothing could go wrong. 100 percent like let's try it out let's try it out yeah yeah except for the fact that you would look fucked up no it it would be crazy if i just like came back home like hey mom i'm back from turkey and i just like turn around and my fucking like back of my hair chunk is just gone i'm like yeah i gave it to my friends so they could have hair and she's like oh okay (laughs) interesting i wonder if technically it would be possible for me to transplant my pubic hair onto my head now probably look fucked up yeah, that was. <laughs> I feel like that'd be way more <laughs> fucked up than me giving you my hair, because it wouldn't just like wouldn't it just grow like pube hair because it's the strip from the pubes or whatever. No, it? yeah, it probably would. But I mean, okay, here's my plan for it. I let myself bald entirely, so I have like kind of like the monk haircut where it's like entirely bald at the mm, top, and then right. I I have them kind of implant a mohawk with my pubic hair. So oh. I just have this pubic hair mohawk <laughs> yeah. going across my head. <laughs> like a landing strip? You want like yeah, a landing yeah, strip exactly. that's on the top of your head? Yeah. I imagine I mean, your pubic hair looking exactly like your mustache. Um, <laughs> just, I mean... Just two little, just two little and things that, like And that. that on the top of his head? Just like that? <laughs> <laughs> the mustache sideways, just on the top oh, yeah. of your head. You, th- you think my pubic hair literally like, it's like a little curtain like this, like where it's like, a, there's yeah, a little yeah, like yeah, gap yeah. in the middle. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like two we'll, we'll talk. I'll show you after. We'll, we'll discuss oh, this okay. after. <laughs> we can show you can do it now and, and and censor it and post. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then I forget, and, and I forget, and then it's just my dick is out there. No, you I won't fuck. forget. I can just say Harry's address real quick, and then you'll remember because yeah, the then something else is on the line. I'll actually <laughs> yeah. care. 
<laughs> and I'll show my dick too. So Aww. I mean, we can all we can all go into this. You know, it's fine. I'll piss on my keyboard. Oh, oh. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I kind of need to piss, so I thought of that. You can go do piss, you, man. Yeah. Do you want to go pee? No, honestly, I'll drink another beer first. So the piss. Gets That's honestly like... the best remedy if you need to pee is drinking more beer because <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. beer like clogs you up your urethra and you don't have to pee. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yeah. cheers. Cheers. Hey, cheers, boys. Cheers, cheers, boys. This is Eek. not to the people watching. This is just for us. Yeah, if you and this is me. If I see you all with your drink, I go like this. I go, I smack it on the ground. You're a bully. And I go. <laughs> what are you gonna do about that's it, nerd? Some, that's some screaming noises in post. <sighs> yeah, I, sh I definitely will. I'll be sure to. <laughs> and then, and then, okay, gr okay, hold on. This is gonna be a cool edit. Green screen me right now. <laughs> Green screen me in the cafeteria, and when I smack it, it's like I'm smacking some kids' lunch money in the cafeteria. What is this fucking game grumps? Like, yeah, Barry, and then, put this on Barry, the and Barry. Okay, Barry. So what I want you to do? Green screen. I'm in the cafeteria. And then after that, add like a like a, oh like a like a falling sound effect. <laughs> Dude, Thank my you, favorite part my favorite part of the Game Grumps uh, timeline was when Barry stopped, and then they got a new editor, and then they would be like, "Hey, Kevin. new editor, yeah, Kevin," and then and they would be like, "Hey, Kevin, can you do this edit?" And then just the edit wouldn't happen. <laughs> it's like I'm not fucking doing this. Shit. I'm not Barry. <laughs> no, I, I remember everybody hated Kevin. I think Kevin was a BuzzFeed editor before he became a Game Grumps one. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think that, that, was, that was his lore. And after yeah. six days, he uh, quit to do music videos. Oh. I do remember that. Did yeah. he actually ever do them? I don't know. I think he did the uh, Doja Cat Say So music video. Yeah. Are you serious? What? No. <laughs> That's actually a huge upgrade. That was insane. No, he did the not guy who used that. to work for Grape. Oh. <laughs> I actually believed you. I was like, oh my god, that's such a fucking huge glow up. Like, damn. Like he Hold really on, fucking me... stepped up from Game Grumps. That would have been Earth to Kevin. Oh, okay, let's see. He is best known for he edited a edited a, a, a Rooster Teeth Red vs. Blue episode in 2015. Oh my god. No, I think that was before. No, maybe not. <laughs> He was he was in Game Grumps 2014 to 2016, and he edited 320 episodes. Holy Damn, shit. that's crazy. That I remember Matt telling me about this. How all the Game Grumps videos are on IMDb, so everyone gets credited, and you have an IMDb page if you ever. I have an IMDb Grumps. page for Cold Ones. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god! Way I think to it's go, Dave man. Prezzo, though. Oh, um, in 2018, he edited a Ninja Six Party. Danny, don't you know? Oh, he was a male classmate. He didn't edit it. He was an actor. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm like, oh. I guarantee you, the only music video he's edited is like Ninja Sex Party, probably. <laughs> Dude, I was Dude, I way too to obsessed. Ninja Sex Party. Uh, me too, honestly. Are they having anyway, one when we're in LA? Yeah, I hope so. They There's not gonna be a single LA. bra in there. Oh. A bra, like a like a like a bra as in like, like a, a bra. bra, yeah, like, bra. like a, or like a dude, or like a bra. No, bra no, is no, 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 no. I mean a bra. There's not gonna be a single bra. Oh, oh I, didn't <laughs> realize, I didn't realize we were getting mid-century in uh, here. Yeah, we were like, there's no tramps or bras in sight at this party. Like, what do you mean? I thought you said bra. Like, yeah. word bra is so insane. No, it is, and I never use it, and I'm actually disgusted right now. Sorry. I can tell you, you were saying something, but you probably forgot. I was, uh, I don't know. I mean, oh yeah, I was saying like I was way too obsessed with Ninja Sex Party growing up. Me too. I used to know like all the lyrics. If we were gay, remember that classic? That's a Billie Eilish song now. Yes, she yeah. actually covered it. Oh my and God, People really? thought it was an original, yeah. <laughs> um, That's crazy. F FYI, I want to F your A. Love that one. Mm, I do remember that, was that one. Good. wasn't one of my favorites. Not gonna lie, that didn't get a lot of plays for me. I kind of liked it because it was like very gimmicky, you know. And I like it, it, it. It was very like Ninja Brian was in the studio. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. Do they have a studio? Like how they record their music? Like probably like, in the same fucking room that they record the Let's Plays in. <laughs> like yo, Ninja, Ninja Brian, we gotta go get some stew time, man. <laughs> Why'd you say Brian like stew? Brian, Brian, <laughs> Brian, we need to get some stew time, man. No, the craziest thing about Ninja Brian is, I remember this, he was a professor in the UK, and then he quit his job teaching to do Ninja Sex Party. That's crazy. Thank God. He probably taught more doing Ninja Sex Party. 
Yeah, he taught me a lot about sex. Yeah. Definitely. But fucking. But fucking. But oh yeah. Attitude City, man. (laughs) Mm. You know, I feel like I only remember one song, I'll be honest. And then there was Star Bomb. Yeah, Star Bomb. Oh my god, Star Bomb. That's now that's speaking my language. I used to be a little Star Bomb nerd. I I went through a little Star Bomb phase, but you know, Ninja Sex Party was where it was at, man. Do you know you know when you're like uh, mainly a Spotify listener, but like at some point you did Apple Music, like during the iTunes, like you had to pay for albums or whatever. So sometimes mm-hmm, you just like you just click for whatever reason the play button on your phone and yes! it just plays like a random Apple Music album. It's mm-hmm. always N- Ninja Sex Party or Starbomb that just randomly plays, and I'm like, these are the only albums I've bought. Are oh, mine is, <laughs> are mine is always backseat Dan freestyle. Avedon. It's always backseat really? freestyle Kendrick Lamar. I don't know why. Like every single time I'll press it and then like I'll just like like oh I'm playing the song and just like ah oh, ring ding ding ah oh. I'm like oh, what the fuck I'm not playing that. Excuse me. I'm like oh I'm playing on fucking Apple Music. I feel like well first of all I bought Ninja Sex Party albums. I bought them like three times. I'm gonna confess this right now on the podcast. In 2015. I bought them for a girl and she didn't even care about Ninja Six Party for some reason. <laughs> I just did that. Uh, so that's I, cute. I want to, I want to kill myself thinking about it, to be honest with you. Um, but it was, you know, it was something I did, so I should own up to it. And I bet, you know, she might think back at it and think, what the fuck was that? What, who the fuck was that? <laughs> Bro, I, I bought On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons. Oh my I'm God. on top of the world. <laughs> I'm not, hey. Wait, I'm not joking. I think I might have also bought that song too. I need to take my fucking Apple Music. Because all my Apple Music is also from like 2012 when like I was buying like random shit. Like I have I have Nice Guys by Chester C. Kip Jumba and Ryan Higa. I have that song. Like <laughs> Nice Guys, Finish Last. Classic. Yes. Uh, I bought that song. Every time um, someone says "nice guys finish last," I think of nice that song. Nice guys finish last. I got "Hey Brother" by Avicii. Okay, good. <laughs> I got the entirety of "What" by Bo Burnham. <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the entirety of the new classic by Iggy. Azalea. Dude, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Look, I have "On Top of the World" too. <laughs> I have it. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I literally was like, I'm pretty sure I have this shit, too, because I've talked about it before. We're like, it was in the Burt Wonderstone like trailer. And I was like, what is this song? And I have the entirety of. No, I, I have a uh, title by Megan Trainor. Oh, Damn. I thought that was like a song. What is that? <laughs> Are you talking about my dog? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it didn't pop up on the podcast because my thing didn't go purple, so I was like, oh, I didn't hear it. But that was an insane like scream from my dog. I don't know who the fuck is at my house right now. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my dog. Oh! To be fair though, if you take on a home intruder on camera on the podcast, this might this might take off. No, this like would be, that would be crazy, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like some like random person entering their own house because my dog is like borderline Obsessed. senile. So she probably does not know what's going on outside. Fuck, I miss having a dog. I used to talk to my dog like it was it was my counselor, man. I, I loved it. Well, let me see if I can get it back down here. Your dog sounds like... <laughs> She's still barking. For like a she moment... Oh my god. For for a moment, your dog sounded like Pat Sajak pretending to be Scooby Doo. <laughs> I got one thing to th- I got one thing to say to you. <laughs> Wait, Kevin from Game Grumps was the Dick Elder in the sixty nine sixty nine Ninja Six Party music video. <laughs> oh Wait, my God! That's no why way. he quit Game Grumps to do that. Yeah, <laughs> to be, to Wait, be, be a part of Ninja Six Party's like I music mean, videos. He left Gang Rumps in 2016, and that was in 2016. So you might be onto something. Here. Yeah. dude, I just need to know what he's doing right now. He might be watching the podcast. Hello, Kevin. Kevin, me, can you edit right. our podcast? Uh, Kevin, Kevin, put a green screen in the background. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. He has like a crazy ass Instagram profile picture. Let me send it to you. It's like a square, but then it's it's 3D. Look at this. Here's to Kevin. Dude, I get like flashbacks. Holy shit. Wait, what that's insane. Hell? Whoa. Wait, he still looks exactly the same. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow. Aww. No, I need to I need to move to LA and just go to parties every single night so I can meet him. And so he can come up to me and be like, I, I'm just kind of like, so what do you do? <sighs> and then he's like, oh, you know, I'm like a kind of like a video editor. I bounce around. I do. Wait, he's a trailer editor. Dude, at we are he bond. edited the, the trailer for La La the Crocodile. <laughs> really? <laughs> he did. He said, proud to share my first theatrical trailer with the international teaser trailer for La La the Crocodile. Wow. That's crazy. Everything comes back in a in a in a circle. It really Holy does, shit. man. Had a blast cutting the spot for Disney Plus Grammy nominated <sighs> titles. So proud to be a part of the team at Seismic Productions. We love you, Kevin. I mean, hey yeah, Kevin. We love you. Cheers. Cheers. I always knew I always knew you would make it, man. I was always a big supporter. And I'm not even kidding about this. When the comments would be shitting on Kevin. I would, I, well, I wouldn't really like go to war for him, but in my mind, I would say that's sad. In your mind, you're like, oh, that's, that's undeserved. Like he, he does his work. Yeah. He does his time. I would, I would go on like r slash rant grumps and all the people would be like, I fucking hate Kevin fucking piece of shit. And it's right. all because like he, he, Danny said, Danny said like, oh, put a penis on the screen and he didn't do it. <laughs> put my all home the address on the screen right now. <laughs> Yeah, like the first, like I remember the first video that he ed, like after his like trailer of him becoming the new editor. Even though he's like uploaded a bunch of videos before, but that was like the first one. People were like, "Okay, Kevin edited this one." Like there was like a whole like editing glitch that happened for like ten seconds. It was like everything was like cut off, and people were like, "Nah, nah, 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 nah." It was just like the worst first impression. But we love you, Kevin. We no, Kevin, you, we Kevin. we love and support you. We know you're a big fan of the show. We saw your uh, podcast roundup last year. We were, <laughs> we're number two. We're number two. <laughs> we were number two. Um, and instead, I fucking wish I could be editing for Cool Dog right now. So, yeah, you can and be. Then, and then I just, okay, no, I'm going to fucking go public with this. Oh. Kevin, I DM'd you and I said, sure, but for $15 an episode because I don't want to, like, That's I just fair. don't want to. Yeah, yeah, it's fair because like what, like, like what the fuck do you even have to? Fucking you get do? exposure from exactly. it. Exactly, exposure. You don't have to edit those weird ass theatrical release trailers. Yeah, and like then this guy posted a screenshot of the DM and said, "Look at this guy. He's trying to fucking take advantage. He's trying to scam me." Oh my Which god. I was trying to give you an opportunity. <sighs> yeah, and also giving you a fucking like early access to the fucking episode exactly oh you would be the whole God. fucking exactly. person to be the big t episode motherfucker and we're lucky you're lucky that we're giving you a fucking chance after you didn't put like a penis from dan Avidan on the screen motherfucker okay yeah. <laughs> like you're lucky you get another chance at this youtube editing shit okay be grateful <sighs> 17 dollars exactly. if you put a fucking my cock right now on the screen right now kevin put, put, <laughs> put harry's address from last episode right here <laughs> And you're gonna put my address. I'm lonely. I need visitors. <laughs> put how much money I spent on Uber Eats this week. <laughs> put it right there. I, you uh, know, I've been I've been spending way too much money recently. You know, you get you get like a sponsor check come in and it's like twenty five dollars. So you're thinking, you know what? Let me. <laughs> let me like, let now me I can buy out. the world. <laughs> That's like me with like Matt buying my fucking plane ticket to go to L.A. I'm like, oh my god, like I have all the money in the world. And then like I refresh my bank account. I'm like. <laughs> oh, no. Like, oh no i'm gonna be in la like this is not la money this is kentucky money no nah, i um, always uh my my method is never check the bank account until you have an eviction notice from your landlord that's dude. the <laughs> it is insane being like uh, i i play this evil game with myself where i like guess how much money i have in my bank account before it like all loads in <laughs> and like sometimes it's like Oh, that was like eight thousand. That was like I overshot that shit by like eight thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that, this actually happened to me recently, where my bank stopped because I get paid in dollars, and usually my bank would always auto convert it to euros. Mm -hmm. And so, 
without telling me, it stopped doing that. And when I would open my bank account, it would show my main balance, which would be in euros. <laughs> and I remember right. being like, okay, I might, I'm thinking about, you know, buying plane tickets. Let's check the bank balance. And it was like insanely low. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And like, <laughs> my mind was like, have I just been robbed? Like, is all my money missing? I've been robbed. Where is it? <laughs> I, was, I was really like, I like I I was already like imagining all these scenarios in my head where I have to go to the bank and I have to go to the police and like I'm gonna have to go to court because someone like hacked into my bank account and took all my money and then I opened this tab and then it was just all there in dollars and I was like holy fucking shit the biggest relief <laughs> in my life I actually enjoyed the thrill of it I'm not gonna lie yeah uh, yeah hey the the ups are only there because of the downs you know mm -hmm. so sometimes you need like a fake down you do you, you do. do. Yeah, really like, uh, so, which is why sometimes I tell my mom, like, Are, my sister's dead, like, your daughter's dead. And then I'm <laughs> That's crazy. That, and then I say, that's what? insane. And then, <laughs> and then the, and then she's like, ooh. <laughs> no, she's here. Thank God. And then she, like, appreciates things more. <laughs> Oxo's face when he said that was the, the most insane thing ever. She's going, <laughs> <laughs> his eyes like widened so wide because i was like even like what like you actually your mom i got so excited because i was like i'm not the only one that does that holy shit i'm normal <laughs> i thought I, I i i was literally contemplating going on am i the asshole but now i know i'm not the only one <laughs> Every, everyone's everyone's an asshole everyone does that yes ish ish <laughs> everyone's okay here. no speaking of fake thrills my fucking bank kept calling me every day for like a week. Mm -hmm. And there was a point where I was thinking, well, this, I think like third day in, because I don't like picking up phone calls. I, mm -hmm. my motto is if it's that fucking serious, send an email. All right. If it's mm -hmm. that serious, you'll find me. <laughs> you'll locate me with ease. And <laughs> they called me five days in a row. And on the third day, I was thinking, what if this is like something really serious? Like, like you're, what if, you're going to jail. Yeah, like, what if I fucked up on my taxes or, like, something is off? And mm -hmm. they kept calling. They call the fourth day. They call the fifth day. And then on the fifth day, they finally took the hint. They was like, okay, we're not going to reach him by phone. And they sent me this notification on my bank app. And all it said on my phone was, like, you have a notification from the bank. And I was like, oh, my fucking God. I'm about to, like, my life's supposed to be ruined or something. Like, I don't know what this could be. And it was just like, oh, we have a new investment fund. You, you can... You can <laughs> prepare for your retirement early and i got so pissed off. i was like you motherfuckers have been calling me for a week straight about this like i don't give a fuck oh uh, you know th that like reminds me of like um you know how like i sometimes i would go to like class go to school or whatever and like we would get no, no notification or whatever that there was no class but like mm -hmm. you went to the school and everybody yeah. would get fucking pissed off i would be so happy because i'm like i don't care that i'm that I now I don't have to go to class anymore. It's the yeah. relief, the relief it, that comes over you. Exactly. But people get pissed off because it's like, oh, I woke up. I like I woke up early for this. It's like, well, you can go to bed now, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. One of the best <laughs> feelings ever was like, for example, on a really cold day, waking up, eating breakfast, and then finding out it's a, it's a snow day, oh, and then you you would God. just get to crawl right back into uh, bed. Uh, you thought you were gonna have to walk outside, but there it is, your warm bed. You can crawl back underneath the blanket and sleep until like twelve. It's magic. Yeah. Dude, the best at my school was when it was like, I, it was like the most insane shit ever. We're like, we were all in school. Nobody, it was like perfect weather outside, whatever. And then for some reason we hear over the intercom, like the water pipes have bursted. So then we weren't getting any, we were getting any water like to drink and we weren't getting any water to like go to the bathroom with. So then they're like, I'm sorry to say this, but we're about to cancel school and everyone has to go home right now. And I'm I, so dude, I remember- Everyone in the fucking hallways was celebrating like we won like this fucking state championship. Like, we're like yeah, like we're like, oh my god, we're going home. It was like twelve, so then everyone could like go get like lunch wherever they wanted. Everyone was like going crazy. I remember like I was like high fiving like random people I didn't even know. I was like, oh yeah, hey, hey, hey. the fuck. What kind of a coming of age comedy is this? No, man? it literally this is... was. That's what I mean. Like, it literally felt like we like won the Super Bowl or some shit. Like, everyone was celebrating in the hallways. This, is, going this crazy. is why like work this is why working for yourself and like being a streamer or whatever kind of sucks because you don't get the lows of school to get the highs of no school. Mm. You just get like the fucking neutral gross life that we're living. No, exactly. <laughs> I have not felt a dopamine rush of like staying up late on a Friday in uh, 10 oh years. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> Dude, get, I, like I see tweets that are like, it's fucking Friday. It's like, I fucking wish I could get this happy about like any day right now. I don't you know, know what day no. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just existing in this. My curtains are closed all the time. I don't even know what time of day it is. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the basement. I'll be lucky to get like some sunshine in my eyes. Like you yeah. all know what the date is. That's cool. Uh Good for you. No, I I I used to be just oh man, Fridays were the best. Coming home from oh school, getting off the bus, skipping home. I, I would literally skip home because of how happy I was. I'd fucking <laughs> sing on the dirt roads. I was I had to walk like 15 minutes home from the bus stop. I would literally be singing in the streets, man. I'm not kidding. I thought the you meant like country roads. I skip home. I thought you were like, you I just didn't... go home. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Like, I'm not even going home. Like, fuck like, this shit. Like, like, I'm going out in town. I thought you meant skip school, but you said no, skip no. home. I mean, I did find, I did, when I was going through my old Facebook post, I found this one status where I was like, uh, I just went to school for two weeks in a row. Where's my medal? And I, I remember like that. I, I actually remember posting that because I was like, I literally was at a point where I wouldn't go a week without oh, missing yeah. school. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like crazy on that shit. That was Were you a me, big misser? That was me in like 11th and 12th grade. At some point, my uh, friend who ended up being a Nazi uh, oh. was like, you know, you're you're really you're like the new Tina who was just like another girl who skipped school sometimes. Right. Mm -hmm. I but was, I was the <laughs> Tina of my class. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like uh, for some reason, no one else in my grade ever missed school. I was just the only depressed person in my fucking school. I don't Dude, know. Dude, literally the way it worked was like the motherfuckers that showed up every single day. I think they, they, cause it would always be a big thing in my class where I would show up and then like so like there was times where I'd miss school for a week and then I'd walk in through the door and people would like clap and cheer. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, he showed up. And that is why sometimes I just didn't want to go to school. Like yes, if, if you didn't exactly. go for like four or five mm -hmm. or like a week or something, like you, you, you would didn't get a whole like back. fucking welcoming parade. Like, like all hey, day, every, every single person that would see you, they'd be like, oh wow, so you actually made it today, huh? Uh, it's like, oh, I did, yeah, I, uh, I did. <laughs> it's like, it. it it's like kind of like comparable to like um, the next after getting a haircut. It's like too much attention, you know? It is. Oh, yeah. Is. Uh, uh. I, there, there was literally like sometimes I would plan it where we're like, okay, I don't want to go back on like a Thursday because on Thursdays I have class with this one kid that always makes like a really big deal out of it. So I'd right. rather go back on a Friday so that the next Thursday I've already been going to school so he can't really like bring it up, mm -hmm. which sounds yeah. like I was being bullied, but it was literally just this like – that one kid being like, oh, hey, look who made it, champ. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to fucking kill myself if I hear that one more time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, the, And then there were the ones that, like, there were a couple kids in my class. They never missed a single day. And those jackasses would show up sick, which at that point, you're the fucking problem, Dude, motherfucker. Right. No. You know what I used to do? I never was able to get out of school and, like, skip. I used to be the greatest actor of all time in school where like I would show up to school and then since I knew I couldn't skip, I would just figure out a way to get home early. So then since I had bad allergies in the springtime, I used to rub my eyes. I did this like elementary, middle school and high school. I used to rub my eyes a lot. So then my eyes would be all red and puffy and I'd be like, oh my God, like I, like I don't feel good. And then I'd go then I'd be like, can I go to the nurse's office? And I would just like play like, oh my God, like. I don't feel too good, but like I think I can make it like maybe one more period or something like that. Like I think I think I could maybe make it one more period, but like I don't have I don't have any I don't have any tests or anything. So like, I mean like I could probably get homework from somebody else, and then like like oh oh you poor thing like we'll call we'll call your grandparents or your parents and they'll come pick you up. Okay, you just sit here and do you need like an ice pack? I'm like you know an ice pack would be nice, and then I'm like, oh, like, oh. It's like I got like the an free ice pack, pack bitch. But that it was the best though in fucking high school because the nurse knew my uh knew Boompa. Boompa like was known by the nurse, and she's like, oh my god, I love your grandfather. Like, oh my mm. god, like is he coming to pick you up? And I was like, yeah, he is. And uh, it was because of the old store he used to own, and everyone like loved his store. So then he was like a local celebrity oh. kind of. And like, wow, yeah, it was like she was like, oh, I, oh, I miss his store so much. Like, is he having fun in retirement? She's like, yeah, he is. You know, that so store, you're using the the, the power chicken. and what? Yeah. yeah, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it was Colonel Sanders, and I was like, he's been dead for like 50 years, but 
um yeah so basically you abused the wealth and influence of your family well i wouldn't say wealth i would say maybe like oh this old this dude is like cool <laughs> this old had, ass like, man. <laughs> i was gonna say this old dude but i was like no he's my boompa like sh- shout out to boompa for real for real i mean um, they they i've heard rumors that in your area Mm. The reason why they let you go home early is because your family is linked to a lot of disappearances because of the power that they hold in the area. So they were like scared to go against your family. I'm going to tell you right now, if that's the case, where the fuck is the power for us? Because why am I still in this basement and not like in the fucking high hills of Louisville, Kentucky? You know what I mean? Like, (sighs) if that's the truth, then like, (laughs) how come I don't see that power anywhere? And like, we live in normal ass Kentucky. You know what I mean? Like. Only dis- only thing that disappeared was me when I went to Austin. Mm. So you should get a penthouse in downtown Louisville. You know what's crazy is I almost thought of that when I was first moving out. I was like, I almost pulled like a James Merritt. I was like, do I get an office? Like, should I just get like a random ass office? And then I was like, no, this would be like the creatures. Like, I'd be having like my own setup, like ra- next to like random like insurance companies, and I'd be like screaming and shit during my streams, like. I probably wouldn't want to like bother them and <laughs> like be like a problem to them because like I just don't want to like deal with that. Like I, I could just be at home and like not to deal with that. And so I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. But there was a moment in time where like I almost considered going to look for like office places like downtown Louisville just so I can be like, oh, I can drive out of the house. Yeah. Have space to work. And then, yeah. Like, oh, fuck it. I'm yeah. I mean, basement. <clears throat> James did have an office. He doesn't use it anymore. He, he now has it set up in his house because he realized he like, he never used this computer at night like a normal person because he would just yeah. go home. Mm-hmm. And he like he actually he watched one of my streams or something. He was like, "Man, this is crazy! Like I haven't actually used my computer normally in like years because I've just constantly had it in the office, and I don't want to sit in my office." That all the was time. the other thing too. I was like, "I like can you? I can't imagine like." Place fucking being in like the office and then like being like oh i'm going home but then i'm like oh i like hey do you want to like do like a stream with me or something and i have to like go all the way back to like the office and i'm like oh my god like that's gonna be awful god no yeah it's it's yeah i think <clears throat> if if you have kind of if you have the dough for multiple setups then i think an office is actually kind of fun because yeah I mean, if you're going to like stream and stuff it mm-hmm. kind of puts you in the zone but I do not have that influence or power that you claim that I have. So I, I'm i good with this wooden wall and my PC that I've had since Ram Johnson copyright tricked me. So Classic. Classic. The funny classic, thing is, classic, is that classic. Prezzo went to pee, but I feel like when he comes back, we're going to like end. So You know what I can do, though, in the meantime? What? It's time for the comment that gets a oh, star. You're right. You're right. Almost forgot. <laughs> I I was like, I thought you were gonna bring it up in the first minute, minute, and I was like, oh, I have this shit prepared. Like, I got this shit locked. And honestly, I think I might start doing a, um, give a star, get rid of a star, like last time, because mm-hmm. I want people to be discouraged from leaving negative comments. Mm-hmm. Because there's per this person called Sesqua said, I forgot he's bald sometimes, and it freaks me out a bit. You're not getting a star. Mm-hmm. You're getting minus one star. That's a comment I, I read out last time. On oh, the you Harry, did? Well, actually, no, on the Harry Pod, which is, wasn't last time. It's in the future. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that person gets minus one star. Okay. I actually gave them a star. So oh. in the later episode, that you're, you taking away a star, is it's going to balance out. And they're going to well, end up Well, guess what? Zero. Yeah, you gave them a star. And I, I read that comment. I completely forgot about the Harry <clears> Podcast because <throat> you got to wipe that shit from my brain. Cause I was just like, oh, whatever, that kid's crazy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I was like, no, you're not getting a star. So actually, you're back down to zero. <laughs> so this is funny. You're back down to zero stars. Mm-hmm. So you're the first person ever to have a star, and then have that star removed. So congratulations on that front. But um, Evelyn said, my favorite moment was when 24 frames and Nick revealed his habit of diluting pudding with his saliva, and I oh, will God. give you a star because I feel like that's like. <clears throat> Like the, you have probably like PTSD from hearing that. I know I do, because that's I think like genuinely like one of the grossest things I ever heard one of my friends talk about. And mm. it, it like when I think of it, like I get chills down the back of my spine. So I kind of want to start about thing. that. No, there's got to be something. No. I like it's actually so <laughs> vile. Like to even think about. Like I actually want to gag. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they don't have to. Uh, you know, there there doesn't have to be a first time for everything. Mm-hmm. I I just never want to do that again. So, 
Yep. That's Isn't Evelyn that you star. Soon we will be together in LA. All three of us, we will be there. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Unless my plane crashes. Wait. No, it won't crash, dude. I'm not going to lie. If your brain plane crashed, it would fucking piss me off because I spent all this money to go to LA and then I'm just going to be <laughs> really sad in LA. But, but you're going to have this clip to kind of like be like, oh, he thought he was like, oh, he, he said. predicted it. Wait, where are you going to be your final it. words? What's your final words if you actually die in a plane crash? Um, you can say them right now. Probably you're like, ah, <laughs> no, but like, what do you want to say? Like, this is the, like, you know how like people did that with like Robin Williams? Like, this is the last thing Robin Williams ever said in the movie before he passed away. Um, What's going to be the last line in any podcast or video before this plane, this plane crashes? You guys are goaded. Okay, well, never mind. I hope it crashes. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be your final words as you all are goaded. Yeah, uh, it might become someone's like. <laughs> it's going to the ground. What the fuck were the? Uh, sorry, uh, this is probably the end of the podcast. What the fuck were Robin Williams' last words? I don't know. It was in like. Uh, I think it was. What the hell? Night at the Museum, I think it was. Yeah, it was, yeah. I went and, to the theaters to watch that, and I cried. And then I think really? it was... Let me see. His final words. That's incredible. Oh, he says, smile, my boy. Yup. I cried. Oh. The, the, his final appearance in that movie is like... I was in the, I was in the theater bawling my eyes out. I would be, too. Oh. Yo, shout out to the goat. Never forget. R.I.P. the goat. I was My actually bringing words. up the LA thing because I'm in, I'm in this dilemma where I'm trying to figure out do I shave the beard off and just leave the mustache because I'm it could be kind of fun but or do I leave the beard on and I don't I don't know what to do. I think we should both <laughs> drastically change our appearance before LA. <laughs> I mean that's fun. I need mm -hmm. to. So like my mustache, like I'm trying to grow it. You can't see shit right now. No, that's like me. I'm like, look at my mustache, guys. And it's like, oh, you have like a little chocolate on your lip right there. But it's it's blonde right now. It's just blonde. Um, oh, that's so fun. I think I think dye would just make it, you know, work. Not dying I in the plane crash. I mean, that might change my appearance too. Mm -hmm. But it, it will not anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I think a little bit of dye might. I want to see what happens, and then if it looks ugly, I can shave it off. Well, thanks a lot for making my dilemma about yourself. I did not get an answer <laughs> to my oh, problem. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I said though, like I think we should do it. I think you should go with just a mustache, and I'll get a haircut, and then we'll show up to LA, and we'll be two different looking handsome men. And also, I'm about to die, so I need to insert myself and everything. Oh yeah, that's true. This is this, what's your. Oh, now we have to do more final words because you spoke more. No, I do want to let Axel say whatever he needed to say first. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I. I don't have anything to say. I love you, man. Oh, that's his final words. Oh wow! Don't speak again. Don't speak again. That's good final words. Thank you for joining us for Cool Dog. We had a lot of fun. President, don't say anything. Uh, Hoover, what are your final words? Change the world. Oh, well, we're gonna change the world in a, in about a couple weeks when we're in LA. I'll mm -hmm. I'll promise you that. Leave a comment.